go, there we are. So uh, I, this, I just covered the duodenum, and technically I should cover the jejunum next, which is the middle region of your, large, of your small intestine. But it's nondescript, our slides aren't that great, and it has all the same layers as the duodenum and the ileum, but without any of the interesting stuff that we find in the duodenum and the ileum. So I'm skipping right to the ileum. We're not going to show you a jejunum on, this, on the show, on the uh, show, show today, on the test or on quiz. So uh, this is a, you see a really thick muscularis layer out here, right? And I can't really discern between the circular, I think circular longitudinal, there seems to be a bit of a, of a divide right there. Uh, is that visible from back there at all? Can you see that? All right. I might be bleaching it out a little bit. No, I'm not. So as we move inward, deep, I guess, we're going to run into the uh, submucosa, which that has that arrow on it right now. So this is the submucosal layer. Then you see these really, look at all those nice big uh, villi extending out there. And if we zoomed in on those, you'd be darn sure that you'd see a uh, simple uh, columnar epithelium. But the interesting thing about the ilium, which is this, is that if you go just a bit northeast again, we see some definite oddballs out here. So these big bubbles of stuff, right? These are those Peyer's patches. These are those aggregations of lymphoid tissue located in the ilium really close to your large intestine. Your large intestine's got a lot of bacteria in it. And you don't necessarily want those bacteria migrating into your small intestine. So you put a lot of guard houses here, full of lymphocytes, full of macrophages, uh, to clean up the area if anything tries to invade from the south. So uh, this is the submucosal layer still, but these particular structures, this is still submucosa right here, but these particular structures, very recognizable, are duodenal, uh, Peyer's patches, sorry. And I don't know, let me see. Ilium, lymphatic nodules, pyrus patches, goblet cells. Let me zoom in and try and find the goblet cells. So I'm zooming in here. And you see those hollow, those white, those clear spots? Those are goblet cells. So goblet cells are going to produce uh, a mucus that they'll secrete into the, that's what these little, we call them goblets because they look like a, like a goblet, like a, a glass. Uh, and those are just those hollow spots. So, cool. Pat, 